This is definitely the most Viking-tastic moment of Inferno Festival for me with Borknagar, with Jens and Oystein. How are you today? Great, I'm great. A little bit of a jack lag though, but um, otherwise fine. Looking forward to the gig. You look very tan. So you guys just came back from South America. Actually, I noticed that you've been touring quite a bit. Is something up with that? Are you going to be even more tours? or? Oh, we're pretty much done for this year. Really? <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, we've been out for three weeks. Okay. And, uh, it did us well. And what was the fan response to you in South America? South American? Yeah. <laughs> a South American response? What does that mean? Crazy? It was yes. crazy. That, that's crazy. It's, uh, it's a lot of passion. A lot of love, a lot of uh, intensity, uh, everything basically. It's, um, it was amazing. Amazing. The response from the audience was uh, overwhelming at, yeah, a lot of the time, so to speak. So you guys are still touring on Winter Thrice, mm. correct? At Century Media yeah. Records? Mm. And I wanted to ask you about that. Like when I watch it, it's like watching um, a Viking opera in a way. What kind of messages did you have in your lyrics this time? Or what kind of story did you think the uh, album told? Stories, I mean, it's a little bit more complicated than that. I mean, we, I don't want to be a traffic sign telling a simple story. To me, it's a little bit more philosophic than that, and different layers of stuff like that. But, you know, Winter Tries is kind of referring to Norwegian mythology uh, and to the Fimbulwinter, which is like uh, in Northern mythology, the <laughs> warning sign from nature that thinks the world is about to fall apart, so to speak. So it's, it's kind of philosophical, again, as we always kind of focus on this life and death, the circle of life, uh, all those things in a philosophical way. And on Winter Tries, we have probably a little bit, maybe a different approach than the previous albums. But it, you know, we, we you know, use this nature as a scenery for, for the whole lyrical expression, so to speak. It's actually really cool because there are a lot of people who listen to your music who've not been to Norway, but whenever you think of Norway and metal, you think of Borknagar is one of the very first things, and you definitely you. represent it in your videos. That's your 10th studio album. And how, what's it been like working with Century Media Records so far? Business <laughs> as usual. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So it's been a good relationship. Yeah. Now, you guys had Christoph Rieck from Ulver on a couple of the songs. Mm -hmm. How did that collaboration happen? Well, it was kind of... Uh, I was actually s scrolling back on some old photos from back in the days when we actually first met up uh, to do the first records. And, uh, you know, in the, back, the old pictures, there was always kind of a date imprinted on the, on the, on the photo. And I kind of noticed that it was exactly 20 years since we met, actually met for the first time to do the first album. So I kind of just sent him a text message, hey, maybe we should do something. <laughs> this is it's 20 years since we met since, and this is the 10th album. So like kind of the stars was a little bit aligned for uh, doing something special. And I, you know, we, we talked on the phone and yeah, he was really positive to the whole thing. And, uh, and yeah, we did it. Uh, it turned out great. It was fantastic to be able to work with him again. Um, I love his work. I mean, in Ulver, I'm a big fan of the band and stuff. And, and the, his contribution of the album was really, uh, yeah, made, made it special in a way. Really cool. cool. It sounds like a lot of fun. I mean, I like his voice too. <laughs> and what's it like to play in front of festival this year? Like, we've been here so many times. Mm. Well, it's good to be um, warmed up straight from tour. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think the jet lag uh, will worry us <laughs> in, when it's playtime. Uh, it was worse uh, this morning, uh, but uh, we'll be okay. Yeah, you so look awake and alive. I mean, it's not that cold out, but still. Yeah, alive, but I don't know if it's <laughs> defined as awake, but alive, yeah. We're alive. Is there any reason you guys are touring a lot more than you did before? We have the possibility, so we're grabbing it. Okay. With, um, with uh, Paul being part of the, the live team, we can um, agree to more gigs. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to. And what else do you have planned? You said that was it with South America, and then obviously today is Inferno Festival. Any other plans to tour this year or next year? The States, perhaps? Well, we've been flirting with, um, <laughs> with the North American uh, idea. Flirt uh, with it more, we'll like actually go through with it. A few festivals this summer, uh, and, um, and then we'll see what happens, because uh, there is um, progress with the new album. Mm -hmm. So let's see how much time we have. Well, tell us about the new album a little bit. Is there like a new title for it or? No, no, no. Okay. It's, it's way, for, way too early for that. But yeah, started to write some new music and, and uh, I have a really good feeling on the stuff. And, and yeah, that will probably be my main focus uh, the next year, I guess, to write some new music and stuff and get the machinery going, you know, to pr produce and to, to, yeah, of course, make the best album we have ever done. I can't <laughs> wait to hear it. I think almost every album is the best album you've 
ever done. <laughs> or maybe it's just I listen to it too much. But uh, you were here since the first festival, and from then until now, what do you think is the difference each year with the festivals as they keep going with Inferno? Well, it, it keeps maturing. Um, <laughs> and um, uh, we, uh, I was thinking about that earlier today with... Uh, when we had some uh, some requests for for TV interviews, yeah, and um, I remember back uh, 17 years of what it is now. Uh, the first TV interviews I did here was pure well, bullshit. What do you mean it was pure bullshit? Well, when, when there is a TV reporter coming up to me oh, and God. asking me if if I'm going to church on Saturday, and what does that have to do with yeah. with music? So it's it's calmed a bit since then. Uh, other than that, it's the same people, uh, the, uh, not the same bands, but uh, you know, the same uh, scene. Mm -hmm. And uh, but everything has been matured, calmed down. Even though we act really immature, it's still a matured festival for the most part. Yeah. <laughs> Who are some of the bands that you're looking forward to seeing? Are you actually are you going to see any of the bands play? Or? I've been away for three weeks, so I'm going straight back home to the kids. You are yeah, you going straight too. back? Home? Me too. I don't even I even don't know what is playing this year so um, <laughs> I'm sorry but I'm going home sleep destruction carcass venom yeah oh, it's cool. a good lineup so oh, that's cool but you know kids yeah I, I don't know I have a stuffed toy cat that's my kid it goes everywhere with me <laughs> yeah <laughs> so if anyone wants to buy any of the stuff uh, if you give the fans your website besides Facebook is there a Borknagar site yeah we have a dot com site uh, I think we have a web store going there mm. yeah at, at least some links to some uh, official a, uh, store on the Facebook Okay, so make sure you guys pick up Winter Thrice from Century Media Records, Borknagar, and be sure to check out their latest album whenever that comes out, or who knows. Uh, yeah, and they will be on tour, I'm pretty sure. So you'll see them on tour, you'll see the albums, the videos, and what kind of message do you have for your fans today? <laughs> Don't be jet lag. <laughs> Keep supporting your bands. Keep let's supporting. have some fun tonight. Yeah, let's have fun. We'll be having fun tonight, I guess. So, yeah, let's have fun. You guys are going home after the gig, so... Yeah, to the hotel first and then home tomorrow. All right. Well, stay tuned for more interviews and check out the live footage. We'll see you later.